Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to a brand new video in Forza Horizon 4. Now this is going to be a fully built off-road version of the Land Rover Defender 90. We're going to pick this thing up, we're going to take it into the shop, we're going to tear it down, rebuild everything, and well not <laughs> only figuratively going to tear it down, but uh, we're going to get this thing in the shop, get it built, and see what it can do off-road in a rock crawling slash hill climbing environment that we've been testing most of our off-roaders in. Now, this is not a vehicle that I have a lot of experience with. In fact, this is a vehicle that I have very little experience with. I do hope that it performs similarly to the way the Jeep um, Willys performed, but the, or not even the Willys, the CJ, um, But because the, the CJ was awesome. I loved how that thing performed. It did an amazing job off-road. This thing does have a body kit preset, so let's go ahead and see what that is. It's an off-road preset, and it looks like that. And... It's not really lifted at all over stock, but we're going to go through and upgrade it ourselves because I would rather do it that way. Now, engine-wise, we have the factory engine, which stock makes 182 horsepower and 232 foot-pounds of torque. I believe it's a diesel. Let me go and look because I think... Well, no, because if it was... Yeah, no, it's gas because if it was if it was a diesel, it wouldn't have like ignition upgrades, quote unquote. So let's go ahead and see what the other engine swap options are: six two V eight, five two V ten, or a seven point two liter V eight racing engine. Oh boy! So we're gonna throw a supercharger on the stock engine. This is where the build is gonna get a little weird. We're boosting the stock engine for the purpose of torque. Now. This thing is going to have tons of torque, and it should have a lot of low range, too. Like, a lot of, like, low-end torque. 346 horsepower, 355 foot-pounds of torque. The cams didn't really help that much with the torque, but they helped with the top-end power, so I decided to go with them anyway. But let's get all the intercooler piping done and in there, and oil and cooling. So we've come out to, oh my god, stop. 458 horsepower and 463 foot-pounds of torque out of a boosted stock engine. Because I figure, why not build the stock engine, you know, when the option is there? That way you can kind of do something a little bit different because everybody would put the 6.2 V8 in there or the 7.2 racing engine. You know, oh, we can go up just a little bit. Rally suspension. a. So we'll get all of the sway bar stuff in there so we can actually, you know, modify them um, and tune them and make them soft. And then race weight reduction brings it down to like 3,100 pounds. That's not bad. It's not terrible. So fully built drivetrain is next in the works. And the tires that we're going to run, I think, are going to be an off-road race compound. That seems to be that seems to be kind of the go-to for these off-road builds. So tire compound wise, off-road race is going to be the go-to. 305s front and rear, which 305 is not bad. A 305 is actually like a decent size for an off-road tire. Uh, specialized wheel style. Kind of want to do something classic like that. That works. It just looks beefy. Looks really good. So, let's see. Arrow and appearance wise. So, this is where you can kind of get into all those funky off road parts. That just like extends the eyes of the thing. So, let's see. I kind of dig this. That looks really good. Now, let's see. So, that's. Oh, it is. You can actually put like a tiny little wing on the back. That's hilarious. Oh, that fits 100%. Mm. Wait, let's see. Oh, I see. So you can do diamond plating or you can do like red paneling. Um, Let's run the diamond plating on the sides. And then for the hood, we could do... Mm, let's do... Should we do the rack and the snorkel or just the... I want to do just the snorkel because the rack looks kind of weird. I'm not the biggest fan of the way it looks. So now that that's done and fully prepped and built, we're going to go ahead and go straight into tuning. And we'll do kind of a generic or semi-generic off-road setup on this thing. And wow, it's already got 377 gears. That might be That might be really good actually. Well... You know what though? You know what though? Because usually, if we're gonna be crawling with this thing, I want to go. I want to go full acceleration, and then let's see. Sway bars are gonna be fully soft for all of that articulation that we can well squeeze out of the Forza handling system. And ride height is max. Springs can be a little bit softer, not by a ton, but they can definitely be a little bit softer. So let's see. Dampening. Not going to mess with that right now. 
diff under under acceleration in the front it's going to be 100 percent, and under acceleration in the rear it's also going to be 100 percent. 50 percent power split usually works really well and without any further ado let's go ahead and take it outside and see what this thing does in the see what this thing does in the real world oh winter will arrive in 45 minutes so we got to do this quick It's pretty quick for what it is, gotta admit. And that is gonna be your top speed, like 125. But you know what? You know what? I don't really need top speed out of this thing, so I'm totally 100% fine with that. So I'll meet up with you guys at the crawling spot. All right, guys, so we're back, and the sun is starting to come up now, and we can go ahead and head for our off-road spot. So we're, it's going to be a little bit early in the morning, but that'll actually be really good because it'll let us see kind of like, you know, the sun coming up as we're out here wheeling. So, oh, boy. Actually ate it. Oh. So the rock crawling trail. I'm going to start out here and see what it can do because, uh-oh. And this first rock, literally this first rock right here. Oh! That first rock is usually a big determining factor, but so far... Now, you see, if it didn't fall on its side, that would have been, like, beautiful. Because it just scrambled right up. Alright, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. There we go. Dude, okay. It's already doing better than, like, than the Titan and definitely the Trackhawk. Oh, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh. Missed the trail. Completely and utterly missed the trail, actually. Oh, God, are you serious? Oh, my God. Here we go, then. <laughs> oh, my God. No. All right, go. Come on. The second help. Oh, it does, actually. There's the torque. Oh, come on. Come on, we're right at the end. It can make it. There we go, it did it. Now let's see if he can go the rest of the way. I don't know if he can go straight up that, though. That's really steep. Yeah, that's insanely steep. Okay, so the Defender 90 just obliterated both the Titan and the Trackhawk. I mean, I, I kind of figured it was going to obliterate the Trackhawk, but, like, I wasn't sure what it was going to do compared to the Titan. It destroyed it. Uh-oh, we need more momentum for that. We need a lot more momentum for that. We don't have the torque. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not the Titan's V8 Cummins, that's for sure. Go, 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 go! Not quite. God, it just doesn't have the speed, it seems. It really just seems like speed is the is the key problem here. If I could line it up better, that's the biggest thing. If I could line it up better and then go to the left. Nope, still doesn't have it. Still doesn't have it. I'm 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 surprised. I'm actually really surprised that it that it's not wanting to do it. Cuz I feel like Especially based on its performance up like, you know, the rocks and the rock hill. Dude, this thing should just fly right up that, in my opinion. Let's see what it can do over here. I'm sure it can do just fine over here. About right here, this is where... Little gap right here, there we go. I mean, it easily makes it. It easily makes it. I think just the big issue is, like, the the problem of once it gets to the top, it or, well, once it starts to get really, really steep on it, then it starts to give up, and it doesn't really have 
enough power and torque to, to kind of power itself through it, which the Titan, that's where the Titan kind of excels is in its power and torque because it's got so much torque. So freaking like 2,000 foot-pounds of torque, it can pretty much pull itself up anything. It does have a problem with getting high-centered, but that's because it's such a long wheelbase truck. Whereas with this, it's got good torque, but it doesn't have amazing torque. And so the problem arises when you want it to like go up something really, really steep, and it wants to, it just doesn't have the torque capability to do it. So rock crawling wise, this thing is awesome. Uh, it does really, 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 really well. Um, hill climb wise, it's not necessarily the best. The Titan is kind of still, well, actually no. I was about to say the Titan was still like the king of hill climbs, but the, the little CJ is king across the board. That little CJ just absolutely freaking rocks. It's a beast. So, I have yet to find anything that can hold a candle to the CJ. I was hoping it was going to be this guy, but unfortunately, not quite. So, if you guys enjoyed this video in Horizon Forward, make sure you click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what off-road builds you would like to see. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you subscribe for more. Talk to you guys later.